hey guys it's been a while and it's been a while since i've been back here as well like look at all the growth and everything now i came back out here for this guy right here because for a few reasons you know when i was younger two or three years ago i was always into boxing you know and i actually did some training um some classes with a, a coach down here in nelson but I haven't done that in a while until recently one of my uh, one of the people who work with me at the Walmart they're not actually a Walmart associate it's kind of hard to explain they're like an associate that's in Walmart but isn't working for Walmart but they also box on a daily basis and you know we have something in common and one day we were just chilling out on our lunch and he said that I should get back into it so you know, I got my plastic gloves right here. And before we continue, obviously there's a mess that I gotta clean up before we start because over time, you know, this was used to be where, this used to be my room. And then I turned to my sister's room. So obviously over time, she kind of put her stuff here. So I gotta clean this out. I gotta clean out the pine needles, gotta clean out the acorns and yeah, um, there's my boxing gloves. See, let's get a closer view. Yeah, so I think I got these like three years ago. I still have the wraps, but I'm not gonna really use them right now. But also there's my spring jacket. We're gonna rock out with the 2018 outfit. But there we go. I'm gonna clean this up before we start. Okay, so just finished cleaning up the area. Now, obviously, there's all these uh, pine needles still. I don't have like the the scooper and just, I couldn't really throw them down here. Obviously, I didn't get all the backyard, but as long as if the area is all tidy and all that stuff, then we're good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go put on my gloves and then I'll explain a little bit. Hey, yo, these gloves somehow match my jacket, but um, as I look over time, I think I trained for a few months, four or five, when I was younger, like 16. So I'm not saying that I was any good, first of all, but I don't know, it's weird. These days I'm a lot more fit, but my form in boxing sucks. But back then my form was good, but I can only perform it so little because I was just unfit back then. And yeah, it's weird. I'm more in shape now than I was back then. But back then I was way, my form was a lot better than my form now. But I don't know. I was taught the little combos, like the jab, right? And you had the, the right hand. My problem with the punch bag is that I throw right, but I don't extend my arm fully so I can be closer to the bag. I can still throw, but you can see the elbow is not fully extended. Now, if I go back here and if I throw, it's fully extended. Although, you know, my genetics is a bit weird. It still looks like it's bended, but I promise you it's fully extended here. Um, that's something I gotta work on. And also I'm uh, flat footed and you know, in boxing, always on your toes, you know, always dancing around the ring. That's a porn because if you're flat footed, you know, if you're like kind of just like this and then all of a sudden the person around you dancing all that stuff, I don't know, something like that, uh, they'll win easily. So I also got to work on being good on my feet. There's a whole lot of stuff I got to work on, but Sorry, it's just a car passing by. Anyways, um, I used to train. I think uh, COVID came back and I just stopped going in general. And since then, I haven't really been on the punching bag that much. But I guess uh, 
after speaking to that guy at the Walmart, it uh, encouraged me to get back into it a little bit. So now I'm doing a little practice. Um, I'm sure if I do it consistently, then I'll get back to where I was. But I guess I'll just show a little bit of practice. Um, I want to get like an angle where you guys can see the full thing. Cause if I go over here, you can still see me, but like I'm cut out from the shot. So I'm going to fix the angle and I do a little bit of work and then you guys can see what I can do. And if there's anything that I can improve on, let me know. So I know it was short, but there's my progression so far on, I think it's August 12th today in 2023, but I watched back the footage and there's a lot of improvements to be made. First of all, you know, that my jazz were better than all the other times. We went the range, right? But the problem is, for some reason when I do the one-two combo, right? I would throw this first, right? But I stepped forward every time I do the jab, right? So when I go ahead through my right hand, 
you know, I can feel the power. It always feels right. But when I look back at it, it's not fully extended. So I step forward, jab is perfect. Throw the right hand and it's not uh, extended. So there's some problems I gotta do. And besides that, I also keep dropping my hands as well. Because when I throw two left hooks, you know, in between, I was practicing, right? My hands would drop here. And also with the jabs as well. Double jab, there's one, my hand dropped, and then I'll go again. Okay, so we're back in the house because I want to also show you guys my wraps for the hands. Now, I rolled them up. These have been used in years. So I'm going to go ahead, put them on, and I'll showcase to you guys, you know, how they look like on your hand. And voila, this is my hand wrap. And uh, it's not perfect. I never really learned how to master this wrap, but you know, I still remember some of the things and I think it's pretty good. It's firm, it's tight. And if I ever using this underneath the glove, it won't ever uh, come undone. But yeah, I think that's pretty much wrapping up the video. I only did one hand because I realized if I wrap the other hand, then um, it'll be hard to hold the camera. In the future, you know, I do plan to return back to training. And, you know, maybe when I was back then, I was hoping to do a few pro fights. And, and that's still on my mind, but it's not the priority right now. Because I got a lot of other stuff going on right now. For instance, I plan to move in the future. So there's something. But we'll get to that later. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, see you guys later.